The first one talks about the Americans with Disabilities Act and reminds you that you learned that um, in order to meet ADA regulations, the angle needs to be less than or equal to 4.8 degrees, which also is um, a ratio of 1 to 12. So you either need to measure the angle um, of steepness and it needs to be less than 4.8 or you need to be able to see that the ratio is less than a ratio of 1 to 12. So I just looked at a ratio of 1 to 12 um, in decimal form to help me figure this out. And so 1 over 12 as a decimal is equal to 0 0.083. So we can kind of take a look at um, these and the, looks like the one got cut off here. So this one is supposed to say one. Um, so when we look at this ratio in triangle A, the ratio is one to 12. Well, we know that's equal to one to 12. So triangle A is definitely in compliance. Triangle B, um, and remember, this is the angle right here. So we're looking at this steepness. So we're looking at 30 over 40. Um, and this one simplifies to 3 fourths, which is way larger than 1 twelfth. So we know that this does not work. Um, you could also divide this and get that it's a decimal of 0.75, which is a lot more than 0 0.08. So that is way too steep. Triangle C um, is a ratio of 10 over 120. And if you simplified that by dividing each by 10, it would be 1 over 12. So that's equal to the ratio or equal to a 4.8 degree angle. Triangle D is 1 over 15. And 1 over 15 um, is less than 1 over 12. So this one is good. And if you are struggling with that and you divided this down, 1 divided by um, 15 is 0, um, 0. 0.066. So that is um, less than the 0. 0.8, whoops, 0. 0.08 requirement. So that's going to show you it's good also. Triangle E is 2 over 15. Um, and so then this decimal is... Um, 0 0.134 and that is not less than the 0 0.083 requirement so triangle E is too steep. Number two says find the missing side lengths in each triangle using any method and then check your answers using a different method. So um, we could so these are both right triangles that have two side lengths so we could find the missing side length by doing um, Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, um, I've got the hypotenuse missing. So we would say um, AC squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared and solve that way. Um, so we've got 25 plus 144, which is 169. So that's AC squared. And then we could square root that and we would get that AC equals 13. So that's one way to do it. Um, another way would be um, to do proportions. So we could have found this one by comparing similar sides in the other shape. So this is the hypotenuse that's missing in this one. And then we could compare um, two other similar sides. And we see that this one has um, the shorter side with the right angle. And so we could compare that here. So we could have done a proportion to find this. So pretending that we didn't know this yet, um, we could have set up a proportion that compared 5 to 10 and then um, compared the hypotenuse here, AC, um, to 26. And so you can see that 5 times 2 is 10. So what times 2 is 26? So we would have gotten 13 that way, if you noticed there with kind of a scale factor idea, um, you could also cross multiply 26 times 5 and then divide by 10, and that would have gotten you 13 as well. Um, so then for this final missing side over here, I'm just going to do the scale factors because it's quicker um, for me. So when I'm looking at this one, 
compared to this one. So we can see that this triangle is just two times larger, right? So five times two gives us 10, 13 times two gives us 26. So this side is gonna be 12 times two, which is 24 for that one. Number three um, asks you to design two ramps that meet the ADA standards. So meaning that um, the ratio of the height to the length needs to be less than or equal to 1 12th. Um, so you can do kind of anything you want. You just got to make sure that when you compare the measurements that you used, that they, um, meet the ADA guidelines. So if I do this one and I say, this is one yard, this one has to be at least 12 yards. Um, so if I put 13 yards, that's going to be fine because one over 13 is less than the one twelfth requirement. So there's one that works. Um, you could do many other things. So if I wanted, um, so that one's in yards, maybe I'll do, um, feet for this one. So if I said that this one is three feet tall, so three, if my top number is three, 12 times three is 36, this has to be at least 36 feet long. So if I put 40 feet down here, that's going to be fine. And you could also then divide three by 40 to figure out um, that that's less than one divided by 12. So three divided by 40 is equal to um, 0 0.075. And if we remember one divided by 12 was 0 0.083, and that is less than that. Um, but plenty of different options that you could do for this one. Number four, Kieran is visiting the Statue of Liberty. He wants to test the mirror method of indirect measurements for calculating heights. He is 5.8 feet tall, and he knows that the Statue of Liberty is 305 feet tall. Sketch a diagram showing where a mirror could be placed to use similar triangles. So if we kind of draw Chiron here, and then we draw the Statue of Liberty here, okay, then the ground... Um, we'll connect them and we're going to try and figure out where the mirror would need to be placed um, in order for this to work. So let's fill in these heights. So we know that Kieran was, um, Kieran was 5.8 feet tall and the Statue of Liberty was 305 feet tall. And then I'm just going to sketch these in. It doesn't really matter on my drawing necessarily where they are, um, but we got to figure out um, something to say for this. So we're trying to figure out this placement. So remember that we want it to be proportional. And so you know that we have to figure out what scale factor takes this to this. Okay, so our K value is going to be 305 divided by 5.8. And that is 305 divided by um, 5.8 is 52.59. So this is our scale factor. So no matter what measurement you put here, however long this is, this number needs to be 52.59 times that number. So if, and it doesn't tell us how far apart these are. So it doesn't tell us how far... Kieran is standing from the Statue of Liberty. Otherwise, we could divide this out, um, but it doesn't say that. So you can just pick a number here. So if I said, um, let's say Kieran is standing um, 25 feet, okay, he could be 25 feet from the mirror. If this is the case, then we would do 25 times 52.59. And um, so it would be 1,314.75 feet away from the Statue of Liberty. So this first part would be 25. This second part would be 1,314.75. That would be something that would be fine. And again, you can do other things. Like if you put 10 in here, if you said that this first measurement was 10, then the second one would need to be 52.59 times 10 which is 525.9 feet. So you just have to make sure it's in that same scale. 
Number five in this diagram, lines A, C, and D, E are parallel, and um, line D, C is perpendicular to each of them. What is a reasonable estimate for D, E? So we're looking for a reasonable estimate for this one. So we'd need to have this to kind of be able to compare. And so we see that this is a right triangle down here with a hypotenuse of five and a leg of four. So maybe you've used this one enough to know that this is going to be three. Otherwise, you can do the Pythagorean theorem quickly um, to figure that out. So five squared equals AC squared plus four squared. So you'll have 25 equals AC squared plus 16, subtract 16 to get 9, equals AC squared, and then um, square root that. So now we're looking for things that make sense um, for the length of DE. So it's obviously getting smaller, so it's not going to be the same size or larger, so it's going to be one of these. And um, if you kind of take a look here, let me change the color of this. But so if I took this segment and just looked how many times it kind of fits in here. So one, two, about three times, right? So this length here is going to be one third of the original. Okay, so this is going to be one third of this measure. So this is going to be three times one third, which is one. So that would be a reasonable estimate. Lynn says she's memorized the lengths of a few right triangles. So the one that I just talked about, um, a three, four, five right triangle. She's trying to compile a list of several right triangles, but she needs your help. So give her a couple more. So she has three, four, five. Um, another fairly common right triangle, Pythagorean triple, where all of the sides are whole numbers, is a five, 12, 13. So this is 25 plus 144 is 169. So that one works. Um, another one is a 7, 24, 25. So 7, 24, 25. So if you square these out, 7 squared is 49. 24 squared is 576. That equals 625, which is what 25 squared is. So there's two. Um, another pretty common one is 8, 15, or sorry, yeah, 8, 15, 17. So 8 and 15 for the legs and 17 for the hypotenuse. So 8 squared is 64, 15 is 225, added together is 289 which is what 17 squared is. And I'll just write this one out too, is 25 and 144, which totals out to 169, which is what 13 squared is. And then finally, number seven says in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 35 degrees. The measure of angle B is 20 degrees. Um, and then it says in triangle DEF, the measure of angle D is 35 degrees and the measure of angle F is 125 degrees. Are they similar? Explain or show your reasoning. So we just need to find one of these two missing measurements so that we can see if they have two angles in common because we already see that they have um, one angle in common. So we'll take the triangle sum, which is 180 for all three angles. We'll subtract 35 and 20 from 180 to get angle C, which we get as 125 degrees. And that matches angle F. So they have two um, angles congruent in each triangle. So they are similar by angle angle.